Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it's time for Sunday Sauce, our collective read. So guys, please try to use the energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself. Or just leave this reading right here for someone else. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Sunday Sauce, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Sunday's sauce. Guys, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and it can be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, clearly and concisely, ancestors, please and thank you for everyone's highest good. Show me what's cooking in the gravy. Thank you. We are truly, truly grateful. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay. We have an eighth of minute, the eight of pentacles. Somebody's busting their ass, working very hard. They are committed, dedicated, and focused on mastering some kind of skill or talent they have. They could be learning something. Somebody might have some plumbing issues, or maybe somebody's a plumber out there. Somebody's got plumber's crack. We got the Ten of Lunga. Okay, well, you know, Lunga is swords. Some kind of painful ending here. Something's over, good, bad, or indifferent. That's it. Somebody's going to hit some kind of rock bottom. It doesn't have to be you, okay? Now, we also have the world. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of over. The world, you completed some kind of cycle. Now, with the world, though, there was some kind of success or achievement and accomplishment, okay? Some kind of fulfillment, but there is some kind of complete and painful ending here. But somebody's busy working. I think you have your back towards this. So this doesn't have to be you going through a painful ending. It can be somebody around you. Maybe somebody has Taurus in their chart specifically. Anyway, you got the page of Minuta. Some, okay, so that's really good because when things end, you clear out the energy and then you have these solid new beginnings. Something where, you know, somebody will be very reliable and hardworking and want to learn how to grow into being... Um, Somebody that's well-respected and good with money and a reliable person, you know? Somebody that's, yeah. So the Page of Pentacles, a solid beginning. This could be a job offer. It could be some kind of financial endeavor that you're starting after completing some kind of cycle successfully. However, there was a Ten of Swords here. It's over. That's it. Even if it was a painful thing that you had to get over and you did it successfully, there you go. Now somebody's working very hard. They're concentrating on what they're doing. They're building. Whatever they're building, it's got a solid foundation yeah okay we have a lot of earth on the board specifically taurus okay the 21st could be of significance or the third 888 888 across the board is to remove negativity somebody just got decals put on their nails like halloween decals somebody else poked their oh somebody poked themselves in the eye with the mascara brush oh jesus show me let me get the nail salon i think Show me, please and thank you. Okay, so here we go. Coming in the near future, which you don't see, is the Nine of Rapinha. Okay, so Rapinha here is cups. Nine of cups. Some kind of happiness, contentment, satisfaction, success, emotional fulfillment, true abundance, wealth. It's all of it. It's the Nine of Cups, okay? It's beautiful energy. It's abundance, good health, happiness, love. Here we go. I'm seeing Ralph Kranz and doing Mrs. Man I'm dancing. Somebody can be dancing. All right, that's good. Somebody can be named Ralph. Somebody maybe likes the honeymooners. I don't know. So you completed the cycle. Now you have happiness and success coming in. And it could be very well with something that you're building here or working very hard. Okay? That's going to have some kind of solid foundation at it. Show me. You say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. Somebody looks like John Lennon here. Let me see what's going on. Show me. How are you perceiving this Nine of Cups in your mind's eye? Please and thank you, ancestors. Two of Rapinha, two of Cups. Ooh, nice. So there's some kind of new relationship that's bringing you a lot of emotional fulfillment. It's the Two of Cups, okay? It's a new attraction, a new partnership, a new joining of forces. This choice of the strength of two together. You know, it's romantic love over here. Somebody like sort of needs. This is bringing you a lot of happiness and contentment, all right? You're looking at it like a new relationship that's... Really got the potential to go to the Ten of Pentacles. Because you're right there looking at it like it's a Nine of Pentacles. I mean, the Ten of... Well, maybe the Ten of Pentacles. That's everything. But definitely the Ten of Cups. You're looking at it like a Nine of Cups. So you're right there. I mean, I love it when you do it right there, right there. <laughs> All right, I don't, know. I don't know what's going on with you guys. What's in the uh, actual environment for this? 
Okay, the four of Corta. Corta is wands. Oh, happiness, family, Aries energy, contentment, a soulmate reunions. Yeah, this could be a reunion with somebody, but it doesn't have to be. You just feel like you have, you know, listen, you're in a good place with the four of wands. You really are. This is Aries energy for community, home, excitement, you know, happiness, family, stability. Perhaps, perhaps a reunion with somebody. Show me. Now, what is the best advice? I like this. This is really good. Somebody has short blonde hair, like they think they look like Marilyn Monroe. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. Not that maybe you think you look like Marilyn Monroe, but it's like that, you know? Show me. We have Taurus as the most predominant. Show me. Any planetary placement doesn't matter. Show me. What's the best advice for whomever this is? Please and thank you. Okay. Show me. Make it hit. Okay. Thank you. We have the... T All right. Listen. 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 Just in case anybody fucking doubted me when I say shit, because I'm the real deal here. I have nothing to prove to anybody. I'm seriously trying to help everybody. From the bottom of my heart, my gifts. Did I say the Ten of Pentacles before? And then I had to correct myself. It's going to grow into the Ten of Cups. It's going to grow into the fucking Ten of Pentacles, just like I said. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. I am so grateful for the confirmation. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. The Disney fairy tale. I tell you all the fucking time. I just told you that. Came out of my face before the card, as usual. Always happens, right? Ten of Pentacles is everything. It's having financial stability, long-term resource, prosperous, abundance, okay? It's having a good foundation, a solid foundation. Whatever this solid foundation is, it's going to grow into the Ten of fucking Pentacles. This is what I say. I said it. And that's including love. The Ten of Pentacles is love, too. It's family. It's legacy. It's traditions. It's wealth in every area, okay? So there you go. Concentrate on your stability and building this solid foundation into a Ten of Pentacles because you can. The energy is here to work with. You completed the cycle successfully. Whatever Ten of Lunga this is, the Ten of Swords that this may be here, you know what? Nothing, everything can't come with you. Every, we all have fucking painful endings. Put it to bed and move forward. Whatever you're working on here is going to be very successful. The solid foundation is bringing you to the Ten of Pentacles. And you're getting love too here. So whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are, all right? God damn. Hot damn, whoever you are. What's the most likely outcome? It's like I just leave it to fucking Ten of Pentacles. You got the Two of Minuta. Two of Minuta is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's coming out in reverse. This could draw you off balance. It could be. You might feel a little overwhelmed. <laughs> and who wouldn't? All right? Who wouldn't? I'm seeing a nice bow tie. Here you go. Oh, they might. Okay, so listen. There could be some kind of, um, there could be some kind of aggravation. Oh, okay. So look. There's going to be some kind of conflict over here. Maybe not everybody's going to be so happy for you. Or this may cause a lot of hostility and stress with the five of quarter, the five of wands, Leo energy, okay? Because somebody wants to do something traditionally. Somebody's going to get heartbroken here. Somebody might get married to somebody else here. There's the three. You got threes across the board. Three, 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 three megahertz. What do I tell you all the time? Pure energy, the sense of masses. You know, somebody, <coughs> some, it's going to cause a lot of conflict with somebody who's going to be heartbroken to see you. Whatever cycle that you completed and whatever pain blending this is, this is breaking somebody's heart. I'm going to choke again. Hold on a minute. <coughs> mm. Turn that shit to send. That's not going to work. Listen, this is important for whoever you are. Whoever this pain blending is with or battle with, somebody's walking around, you know, some kind of trauma, some kind of heartbreak, some kind of sadness, some kind of grief, some kind of sorrow. This is causing stress and hostility. You know, miserable people like to make fucking people miserable, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. When somebody here might start dating traditionally, somebody might have a baby, somebody might be going to a christening, somebody might be getting married. Like, this might, you know what I'm saying? With this new style beginning to the Ten of Pentacles, that's definitely marriage. You're coming in with a four fucking court, the four of wands. Yeah, okay. They got the three rapina, the three of cups. But somebody's celebrating here. You might have a circle of support around you. You do have something that you're manifesting here with the magician. Somebody's doing some soul searching. Somebody might be having a fucking baby here. Yeah. Somebody's picking a path and moving forward to their success. I love it for you. I love it for you, all right? You got the ace of wands, a passionate new beginning. So whoever you are, now you got Taurus energy. You got fives across the board. Five, five, five megahertz, healing any past trauma. Heal it. It's also connection to your fifth dimension. Let's get you a couple of these. I'm psyched now. Here we go. Show me. By the way, thank you very much for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you with Nod. We're very fucking grateful for your presence. It was a little pussycat. All right. Um, and whether or not anybody else has told you this today, we love you. We honestly love you. 
Okay, so here we go. We are wishing you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking fucking form possible. To infinity and beyond. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety. And it could be because something ends it here, okay? And they're heartbroken. Somebody here likes to role play. Somebody also likes to go metal detecting. Somebody here feels like they're alienated. This is giving them a lot of anxiety. And somebody's juicing it up, man. Somebody is juicing it up. And I, ooh, somebody looks like they're putting like... Okay, I know you're supposed to juice with like green things. Somebody looks like they're putting organs, like somebody's, some kind of organs, maybe for iron in a juicer. What the fuck is that? Ew, ow. Okay, maybe this is an alien drinking blood. Oh, we might have a vampire in the house. Got mom. Somebody's got a mom tattoo. Somebody's got mom issues. Oh, I'm hearing somebody's a mama's boy. Jesus Christ. Or a mama's girl. Goes either way. Somebody's playing, paying back fucking student loans for 150 goddamn years over here. Okay, they haven't even got to the principal. They're just paying off the interest. They're driving some fucking hoop to here. They're trying to write a screenplay or something to get famous. It's not happening. Instead, they're sitting around with the remote deleting a bunch of shit with toxic fucking problems here. Trying to, yeah, somebody could be a bullshit artist here. Whatever that is. Let's get you a couple of these. Show me. So funny. Someone's got some kind of used car, used hybrid. It's a fucking hoopty, whatever this car is. Okay, contentment. I mean, pretty fucking content. I mean, it's a, yeah, you're going to be pretty content with this ten pentacles. Hell to the yeah. All right, here we go. Look at this. I love that card. It's so nice. Wow. Magic, excuse me, magical harmony. Yeah, that's what this two of cups over here. You and this person. Two toads on a to on a lily pad? What? <laughs> I mean, with two fucking toads on a lily pad. What is that? What is that? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to go get tattoos. Here we go. Wonder. Somebody's wondering what the fuck is going on around here. <laughs> okay. Because there might be a little level of chaos. Chaos seems to come naturally to some people, right? Yeah. Let's get you a couple of these positive affirmations. Yeah, give it to me. Come on. Can you get some new ones out? Maybe a couple we haven't seen. Be adventurous every damn day. Get out. Go out of your comfort zone. Try something you never tried before, like skydiving. <laughs> yeah. Scare the shit out of yourself. Get those fucking, that adrenaline going. You'll be more alive than you ever were. Trust me. Today I feel healthy. My mind is clear. My body's healthy. And my soul is at peace. Especially if you land on the ground with the parachute open, right? Yeah. It's a metaphor. Today I will not give in. Today I will not allow negative thoughts or feelings to prevent me from achieving happiness. And fucking don't. When you see them creeping in, be the adult, grab them, and do something quickly. Like, put on good music to bring up your energy, frequency, and vibration. Shake your ass, and you'll feel happy. Look ahead. Best times of your life haven't happened yet. You need to see your future. It is beautiful. Yes. The only time you should ever look back is to see how far you come. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Spirit. as well. Sometimes I'm fucking magical over here. I don't even know what's going on. Shit that comes out of my mouth. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Okay, somebody's like to kiss and hug trees. Welcome to my world. I go outside and hug and kiss the trees. The neighbors look at me and they stay the fuck away from the witch's house. Now, I put up spiders and ghosts and cautious, every fucking thing for my grandson. So there's that. Hey, -E. somebody's doing some AI bullshit. Okay, I'm sure it's very good. It scares me. I'm not going to lie. Not that anything scares me. Let me rephrase it. It doesn't scare me. It concerns me. Okay, it concerns me. I probably won't be around by the time. Yeah, whatever. Terminated takes over. Look at all these A's and E's and Okay, so triple A's. Let's do the car. Check it. You got four A's. I don't know. There's a... Oh. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Four A's, three E's, I, U. R, L, D, N. You got two U's. K, T. R, L, D, N, K, T. Four A's, three E's, and I, and two U's. Close the energy for Sunday sauce. Thanks, guys. Always remember, lead with logic ends integrity. Yeah, act with kindness and grace, and I totally have a brain freeze. I forgot the prayer. All right, well, that's it. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>